back. Um, so we're going to continue on our uh, adventure here using uh, row number and other SQL to start analyzing movies a little bit again. I'm going to want to look at the um, the top. Let's write it out. So we're going to look at the um, oops, top rated, not rated, the top grossing films per genre. Um, so maybe let's see if we, let's see what we have in the database to work with here. Um, where is PG admin? Uh, let's find him. Here he is. Okay, so within film, we did write a query earlier where we had access to all these attributes. Um, the description, the release year, the rental rate, the rating, the full text, uh, maybe the film category. That might have something. Okay, and then the category table. All right, so we're gonna, got it. All right, so we got a plan. Um, let's go back up to where we were doing stuff with, uh, we had a bunch of joins, and we were kind of progressively getting further and further into um, the type of product. So let's just whip that out here, <laughs> do a command shift K, to uncomment it and get rid of that. And let's just see where this ends up. All right, here, yeah. So we were uh, we were starting with payment. Uh, we were joining in rental to get the rental ID, um, and then inventory to get the inventory ID here, and that brought us to the film table, uh, and we have the title of the film here. And let's see what other columns we can get now. So um, from film, that brings us into, hmm, let's look at film category perhaps. Is there a table called film category? Right, so film category is gonna get us the category ID. So we need to do a left join uh, film category FC on fc.filmid equals i.filmid. And let's just make sure that works. We had 14,596 rows before, we still do. And let's go back here and open up the admin window again. Film category gives us the category ID and the name. So we're gonna go for fc name and we're gonna see what's going on there. Um, Film category FC, FC name does not exist. So maybe we were looking at the wrong table here. I was looking at, oh, I didn't join in category yet. So, right, we gotta keep joining tables. Um, so we're gonna do left join category C on um, C dot, uh, what is it? C dot category ID equals FC dot category ID. That should work. And then we're finally gonna have access to C dot name. All right, now we're in business. So um, you see we had to do a lot of joins. And the reason is because if you put all this information in one table, it would be too many columns. That's just database design. We're not here to worry about database design though. We're here to worry about how to query databases and how to get information out of them. You can learn all you want about database management, but we're not gonna do that here. Um, so the question was, what are the top grossing films per genre? And I guess we can call the name as genre. That wouldn't hurt. Uh, and what if we wanted to say, instead of just the top grossing films per genre, we wanted to see what the top genre was per rating. All right, so the top genre per rating would be like, um, within R, what is the most popular? And by most popular, I mean highest grossing in revenue. Um, so let's do that. Uh, 
um, it's a little late here, so I'm going to take the easy way. I'm just going to say with uh, base table as. And then I'm going to, what do I want? So this, this is going to be my base table here. Um, I'm going to call it uh, base table BT. And what do I want from it? I need the BT.rating, BT.genre. I need to sum the BT amount. And I'm going to, I'm going to have to group by these first two columns. Let's see what we get. Great. Um, let's just do an order by three. Just to uh, see how that looks. Okay, so just in absolute terms, the most popular is NC7, no, yeah, NC17 and music which is strange because you would think uh, NC-17 would not be about music, but it is. Now, let's uh, let's say this is our, you know what, yeah, okay. So now we just want to get the, um, the rank of the genre within the rating based upon the sum here. So I'm just going to call that sales. No harm, no foul, just make it really obvious. So now we're just going to do, um, oh, we're going to do t.star from we're gonna t, and we're going to want to bring in a row number here, um, give it a little space, and you know the drill by now, partition um, over. And we're going to partition it over what? We're going to want to we're going to group it by the the rating here. Um, so it's going to be t dot rating, and we're going to order by t dot sales descending. Remember, so it's descending. Let's see what that looks like. I did something wrong. I forgot to put um, what did I do? Row number over. Yeah, I screwed that all up. This is what happens when you're trying to record videos late at night. Um, partition by, <laughs> that was funny, yet another error, row number over partition, did I spell it wrong? Oh, I didn't have my by in the order, that's okay, you'll do this too when you do it. Alright, so let's see, we've got, we're partitioning by rating here, um, within G action is the king, has the, the best row number when we sorted by sales descending. Let's make sure it, it restarts the row numbering on the genre. I'm sorry, on the rating. And it absolutely does. You can see that within PG, sports is the number one grossing genre. And likewise, PG-13, the row number starts overing with foreign. And um, we, can, uh, we can just simply say we want to see this data where the row number equals one. I just want to share one thing with you. Um, I just want to show you that this is not going to work. It's going to get mad about using a like a window function in a where clause. Yeah, window functions are not allowed in where clause. Um, I don't know if having works. I've never tried it. Um, yeah, window function is not allowed in having. But um, you know the old trick. We just keep wrapping it in outer selects. And you just call it T2. I'm just going to call it um, radical. Or radical dot row number equals one. And there we have it. Um, again, I just called it radical to illustrate that the meaning of the alias is almost irrelevant, whatever makes sense to you. And what we've done here again. For our objective, we wanted to look at the top grossing films per genre, but then we extended it to say the top grossing films per genre, genre within each rating. Um, so that's interesting. We see that, for instance, just to be very clear, the G-rated, the genre that is best-selling within G-rated movies is action. Uh, pretty, pretty obvious here. So. Yeah, that's another interesting use of the row number. At this point, you really should be getting the hang of how to use row number, how to join tables, 
um, how to group by things, the difference between where and having, and you're well on your way to doing great things with this stuff, and, and you're going to be learning really, really fast from here on in. But I would suggest that if you've been following this from the get-go, stop for a little while, maybe don't do it for a day, and come back and see if you can do this by yourself. See if you can get the top grossing films per genre within each rating. It'll probably take you about an hour to figure it out. Unless you have a background in engineering or business intelligence, it might take you a little while. But I want you to struggle through it, and I want you to put in the work. I want you to get the group by errors. I want you to mess up the parentheses. I want you to forget the commas, because that's how you're going to learn. All right, great.